right codes now. Codes have always been there. It's just how do we adapt it to make sure that we make the best possible city? Thank you for joining us for 13 News Live at 10. I'm Mary Coleman. Accessory dwelling units or ADUs are growing in popularity across Arizona. Now the city of Tucson is making it easier for people to build them on their property after the city council recently approved changes to the ADU code amendment. 13 News reporter Emily Miranda joins us live downtown. And Emily, why was it important that the city approve these changes? Well, Mary, this approval means that city code is now in alignment with state requirements that were passed under HB 2720. Now, these new requirements also means this is another step forward for bringing more housing to the city. Logan Havens is just one of several people in the city of Tucson who has built an accessory dwelling unit or ADU on his property. He says after he built it, friends started asking about renting it out. And when the first code amendments passed back in 2021, he became an ADU advocate. We need this housing model. This, this casita, you can't see it when you're walking by the street. It's a really low impact way of doubling potentially the density of our single family neighborhoods. Haven, one of the winners of the city's casita model plan competition, says they currently have six ADUs in the permitting process. They can be used in a variety of ways from offices to interim housing. There's people that are wanting to build them as rental properties, but overall what we see is like the majority of people just have a small, historic little house and need more space for some reason or another. Now the city of Tucson is making it easier to build them after approving ADU code amendments to meet state requirements. ADUs can now be up to two stories. It removes parking requirements and changes how many units per lot are allowed. It will be uh, two ADUs would be allowed per site, um, as well as a potential for a third one on lots that are over an acre. Um, and that third unit would have to be restricted to affordable, to be an affordable unit. Um, so rents that were affordable. Dan Bursick with the city's Planning and Development Services Department says when these are used as rental units, they are often cheaper than surrounding homes. He adds that these new amendments are a good opportunity for the city. It is an opportunity to help to kind of build housing stock um, and to provide more options for housing in the city of Tucson, which is great. Now, Havens also tells me with these new requirements in effect, it's going to help speed up the permitting process, helping to get more of these ADUs built on people's lots. Now, if you're interested in learning more about building an ADU or to learn more about these requirements, we'll have a link up to the city on our website at KOLD.com. Reporting downtown, Emily Miranda, 13 News.